when I work locally, if I need to create a cluster, I just execute cluster create, wait for a few moments and a local cluster with everything I need is running. If I need to run tests in the background while developing, I just execute test watch and let my tests run every time I make a change to the source code. When I'm finished, I just execute cluster destroy and move on. The tool I'm using to just execute something is just. It is a tool that allows us to execute tasks, which just are called recipes. That's what it does. And the question is whether it does it well. Should you use it? Should you replace your make file, task file, or any other format to just and just file? It is no secret that I do not like make file. It served us well over decades, but it's too complex and too brittle for my taste. If I never see funny recipes again, I will die a happy person. If I never again encounter an error because I use spaces instead of tabs, I will consider it a success. Tabs are evil and should never, ever, 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 ever be used as indentation. Just solves many of the issues I have with GNU make and make file. It is a valid replacement for a tool and a format that should have been retired long, long, long time ago. Now, I already talked about an alternative to make file in that video over there where I explored task file. Many of you told me that it is great, but, and this is important, quite a few of you sent me a message or a bunch of messages complaining about it being YAML. We do not want more YAML. YAML is evil. And this is a good one. YAML ruined my marriage. By the way, I invented only one of those. Others asked me what they think about Just since it is very, very, very similar to Task, but without YAML. Instead of answering those directly, I decided to make a video. I can summarize Just as a make and make file replacement, just as Task and Task file are also replacements. The major difference is that there is no YAML, no YAML. So, let's take a look at it. As we can expect from the tools that enable us to run something, we can use just to execute any previously defined recipes. In this project, I typically start my work by creating a local cluster, installing some third-party apps, deploying what I'm working on, and a few other things I need before I start working on it. I defined all that as a recipe called cluster create. So, let me execute it. Now, this will take a couple of moments, so let's fast forward, and there we go. Now that everything I need is set up, I would normally execute the test watch recipe. All my tests were executed, and now it is watching for changes in my source code. The moment I modify any of the files that it is monitoring, it will rerun the tests. That way I can focus on code, knowing the tests are running in the background, and will let me know if I mess it up. Once I am done working, I just execute cluster destroy and wipe out everything. Gone. Now, if you watched my video about task file, that one, you might have noticed that the recipes I just executed with just are the same as those I had with task file. That's on purpose. This is the same project and I wanted to compare the two based on the same criteria. I wanted to see why would we choose one over the other. So, let's see what we can do with just apart from being able to execute recipes. We can, for example, get a list of all the recipes by simply executing just without any additional argument. Actually, that part is not true, and I'll explain later why it's not true, even though you see it being true, and so on and so forth. But what matters is that this is the list of all the recipes we can execute with just in this project. There is a name of a recipe and a description. If you would like a more detailed information about any of those, we can execute just with the instruction to show a specific recipe. There are quite a few other things we can do with the CLI. Nevertheless, what matters, at least when the CLI is concerned, is that we can discover which recipes are available, get information about any specific recipe, and execute it. Now, to be clear, none of those things distinguish just from the competition. Where it differs is not that much in what it can or cannot do, but rather in the syntax used to define recipes. So let's take a look at just file. At the top, I defined a variable timeout. That way I can easily change the value without trying to figure out where it is used. We'll see that one in action later. The recipes are defined with the name that ends with a colon. The first recipe I defined is called default and it executes a single command just dash dash list. You see, 
the first recipe is always the default one and in this case I chose that it should simply list all the available recipes. That way I don't have to execute just dash dash list, instead I can simply execute just as I did before. Comments above recipe names serve as descriptions. That's what was displayed when I listed all the recipes. A recipe can execute any number of sequential commands. In the case of package generate, I'm executing Timoni followed by head and MV move. It does not matter what those commands do and why I have them. What matters is that any command can be executed sequentially as part of running a recipe. Recipes can depend on other recipes. In the case of package publish, the package generate will be executed before it starts running the commands. Commands are not mandatory. We can have recipes that only depend on other recipes, like in the case of package generate apply, which would do nothing but run package generate and package apply. Unlike task file, just file does not have a built-in mechanism to watch for file changes and rerun a task or a recipe. Now, this is important. That is not necessarily a bad thing since that feature in task file does not work as intended. It is its weakest point, so I'm glad that just file does not even attempt to do that. Instead, if we would like to watch for changes in some files and execute some commands, we can use a separate CLI for that. In this case, I'm using watch exec to monitor team money and test directories and execute a just recipe package generate apply whenever a file in one of those directories changes. Now, that is not ideal either, since running just CLI from inside just can result in some silly issues. Nevertheless, there is no built-in watcher and that's still better than the one baked into task file, which does not work. It doesn't work. It's just silly how bad it is. We can also define internal recipes by prefixing them with underscore. Those recipes will not be available when executing just CLI, but only internally. They can only be invoked by other recipes. By default, execution of a recipe stops the moment it encounters an error, and that's how it should be in most of the cases. Now, we can avoid that by prefixing a command with dash. For example, if kind create cluster command fails, just recipe will continue running. It will ignore the error. So, whichever other recipe uses cluster create kind as a dependency would continue running even if it fails to create a kind cluster. There are, of course, many, 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 many other features of Just, but I feel that what we explored so far is enough to give you a clue whether Just file might be a good alternative to make file and task file. Let me start by saying that Just file is without doubt a better option than make file. I don't even bother listing all my grievances with make file. I don't want to see it ever again. The real question is whether just file is better than task file. So that's what I'll compare it with. There are many things that work against just file, at least when we compare it with task file. So let's start with those. To begin with, just and just file have a smaller community. There are fewer forks and stars in the repo, fewer contributors and less activity. Now, that's not necessarily a reason to choose one over the other, especially since just has a healthy and active community. It's just not as big as the one behind task file. It's a minor con. VS Code add-on is not maintained anymore and frankly it was never good. As a matter of fact, there is more than one of those and all but one are dead. The one that isn't dead is relatively new and not very good either. Next, just does not have special features. There are no four constructs. There is no option to defer execution of a task and so on and so forth. I would like to say that just is intentionally missing those things since it assumes that you will use shell commands and commands to accomplish those, but that's not the case since it did add some of those like the ability to ignore errors by prefixing a command with dash. That could also be done with a special syntax, hence I don't buy it that it is intentional, but rather missing. Still, it is also a minor issue since you can indeed accomplish all those with a bit of scripting. What else? Let's see. Okay, here we go. There is no dry run. We can see which commands will be executed, but we cannot get the exact commands after loops, variables, and other stuff it expanded. We cannot see what exactly will be executed. Task file does that well, very well. Now, to be honest, that's not something I use often, so it's a minor issue as well. Finally, there is no watcher. Now, that's not really a bad thing since 
the baked in watcher in task file does not work as it should be. So I use watch exec over there as well. Hence, that's not really a con or a negative thing. Now, let's move into good things, into pros. When compared with makefile, the list of pros is huge, but that's not what we're doing today. We're comparing it with task file and there are only two selling points. To begin with, just file syntax is easier to learn than the syntax of task file. Now, when I say easier, both are easy. You will have no trouble learning either of the two. You'll be mastering either in a matter of hours. So it's just that you will learn just file a bit, tiny bit faster. If it takes half a day to master task file, it takes even less to master just file. So this one is a minor advantage and I'm listing it only and exclusively so that the one that comes next is not the only one. The major difference is that it is not YAML. That's the only reason I can imagine why I would choose just file over task file. Now, that might sound like an insignificant reason to use just file, especially since there are a few cons. They are minor, right? But cons nevertheless. Still, YAML is not everyone's cup of tea and it might introduce unnecessary verbosity. Just file feels more elegant. There is no need to specify keys and values. It's just a recipe followed with dependencies and commands. It's easier to write and it's easier to read. All in all, both tools are great and the choice will likely depend on how much you like or dislike YAML. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.